for paint powder and chrome now. Oh, I mean spray paint, I should say. Blow that off. I'm sending it to King Potter and Film right now. Oh wait. Spray tan I guess. Made a mistake on Here we'll tape it up quick. There we go. Any runs? Good. Couple. Perfect. So it needs to finish it off. Need a couple runs in there. Let's see. Got to take this side up now. Okay, here we go. Run the run down with another run. Run, 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 do run. Run, run, do run, run. You gotta make sure you swap black so people can't see all your runs. You know what I mean? Gloss black shows off your runs. So if you want the runs to show through, then that's what you do. Okay? Then you gotta tape it off real good so you don't get nothing full of paint, you know?
Yeah, when you see it run on the ground, then you know you got enough paint on it. Then you use a good quality, you gotta tape it up real good so you don't get nothing full of paint. And I use uh, Rust-Oleum uh, farming implement paint so it can handle it. And after you, after it comes back from paint color and film, you know, then you use a nice wax and get your seam over to remove the paint off. They might have got some excess paint on your uh, lights or something, you know what I mean? So you want to make sure that you clean that up too right away. Oh yeah, makes the luster come right back even. You know? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I think we did good. Perfect. Now, we're going to go to the other side. Those guys, you know, they always get paint on everything when they paint it all, you know. So you got to make sure you get that off of there. When it comes back, you know, paint powder and film. Looks like that'll work. I know I got enough paint on it because it's dripping onto the floor.
All right. Looks like we're on. Let's uh, let's do this. I'll take you on a tour. I just got it back from paint powder and chrome, you know. So it looks pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad. Looks kind of different now. What about this side? All right. Perfect. Let's see, a little light on there. Should work, huh? Hmm. All right. And then, from the side view here, hmm. so you can see it, what I gained here, you know. Let's see if we can look from a distance here. I yeah, can't see nothing. Yeah, that should work. All right. Anyway, and that's how I did it. Anyway, you guys, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I guess have a good day, I guess. But uh, thank you for anybody that's subscribing. I sure appreciate it. And uh, I wish the best for everybody always. That's that's no fib. But uh, no, I do. I, we can have fun here and stuff and talk about things and, you know. See, what does this look like? Let's look at the deer advantage. This is what a deer looks at. Oh, God, that's crazy. Okay. Anyway, please like and subscribe, guys, and have a good day. And, again, I appreciate it when you do subscribe. And there will be a lot more videos. We're going to start putting electric windows in tomorrow. They're going to get done. So, I hope. I'm going to work on them tomorrow. And I don't know I probably didn't notice I put, put mirrors on it. These are factory mirrors. They look kind of cool, actually. I like them. Can you see yourself in there? Whoa! Somebody's in there. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're working on now is electric windows. So we'll start that tomorrow. Uh, I don't want to think about that because it can be a problem. Uh, wish I just had a rope on them, pull them up. They might get a rope yet, who knows? We'll see how it works tomorrow. If it don't work, well, then we're using ropes. So. Okay. Take care, guys. Sure appreciate it. Have a good day. You guys, uh, keep your money in your pocket and your money in your, I don't know. What, how did that saying go? No, I don't remember. I lost it already. Oh, and that windshield to that. We've gotten a lot of slack about it. Um. But that's just temporary. See, I bought one here. Let me show you this quick. I gotta show you this. Here's the windshield I bought for it. And it is just roached. Glass, well, that's replaceable, whatever. But the upper rails look really good. But the bottom rails here are just roached. I really wanted to put this in there, and then they cut the they cut the mount off instead of unbolting it. So, so anyway, 
that windshield that's in there is just temporary. Hey, you gotta try to enjoy your ride, okay? It's $1,200 for a windshield. Because it says Dodge, that's why. If it said Chevrolet or Ford, maybe it'd be cheaper. I don't know. Would it be? I don't know. I would think so. But yeah. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.